what's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. We got a lot to cover because a lot of you were dressing wrong and today we're going to fix it because I can't stand the thought of you not looking as super sharp and sexy as you possibly can. Today I'm going over 10 ways most men are dressing wrong and wait for it, how to fix them. First way most men are dressing wrong is wearing white undershirts with white dress shirts. Boom! Say what? Let me explain. Check it out. When you wear a white undershirt underneath of a white dress shirt, this is what happens. You can totally see the white undershirt because of the high contrast that the white has with your skin. The solution is go gray. Check it out. Gray undershirt, much less visible. Number two is wearing black shoes with navy. Technically, black does match with navy, right? It looks sharp enough, but if you really want to take your style game to the next level, go brown. Go brown. Gentlemen, in my opinion, if you are looking to take your style to the next level, if you're wearing navy, if you're wearing gray, if you're wearing anything other than a black suit or tuxedo, you want to go brown. Number three is collars that are too big. Your collar should touch your neck all the way around. Now, it should not pinch, it should not squeeze, all right, one finger is typically the rule. If it's any tighter, it's too tight. If it's any looser, it's too big. Number four is a sloppy roll. I've got a question for you. Which sleeve roll looks better? This one or this one? Gentlemen, if you are rocking a sleeve roll that looks like this instead of this, you're totally missing out on the opportunity that is forearm exposure. You know by now that the senoritas go crazy for a dude who exposes a little forearm skin. Exactly. If you want to rock a fold like this, it goes like this. Take it off, pull it up, right? Right there to about the midpoint of your arm and then take your thumb, take your fingers underneath and then boom, you're tucking, boom, around. You're tucking, you're tucking, you're tucking. It's tucking perfect. Speaking of tucking perfect, number five is not wearing a watch before and after. Gentlemen, it is all about wearing a super sexy watch because a watch sends the subliminal message to the world around you that yo, you're responsible, yo, you're reliable, yo, you dig watches. See what I did here? Match my belt to my watch. Yeah, extra sexy. Gentlemen, here is the deal. If you are looking for a super sexy, beautiful watch that isn't going to break the bank, gentlemen, there's a link down below to today's video sponsor, Movement. In my opinion, watches are the greatest accessory a guy can wear. Not only are they functional, as in like you can tell the time, they're super fashionable and they're also going to send the subliminal message that you're responsible and that you're reliable. If you currently are not rocking a watch on the regular, you got to hit that link down below and go check out the curated collection of Movement Watches. Movement Watches, in my opinion, has done an amazing job opening up watches to a whole new audience of dudes. This white face chronograph, rose gold, brown leather strap is one that I absolutely love rose gold, white face, gray leather strap. Here's another one from the Revolver Collection, dome crystal, silver, brown strap. Guys, if you are looking for a new sexy watch, guys, there's a link down below to Movement. Go check out the curated collection. I've gone through and selected specific Movement watches that I think are the most badass and beautiful. The beautiful thing about Movement is that they're not going to break the bank. So I absolutely love watches. I love all watches, right? I love high-end watches, I love low-end watches, and I love watches like Movement. Watches that look good, that are super clean and sexy, that aren't going to break the bank. Guys, if you haven't checked out Movement, hit that link down below, grab one for a discount, and wear it in style. The sixth way most men are dressing wrong is not understanding and properly aligning the gig. This is your gig line, right? That line from the outside of your placket to the edge of your belt down to your fly. It should be one continuous line if your belt is over here, that is wrong. If your shirt is over here, that is wrong. Seamless line. Number seven is sunglasses inside. I don't know why I need to keep saying this, but apparently I do. Here is the rule. When you enter a building, right, you got three steps. Open the door, one, two, three, and off. The question now is where do you keep them until you go back outside? The answer is not 
on your head. The reason is because the grease on your hair will get all on your lenses and mess them up. The other reason is because if you wear them on your head, it will have a tendency to stretch out the arms. Instead, what I'd recommend, bang, right there in your shirt. Number eight is wearing a polo shirt with a sport coat, a jacket, or underneath of a v-neck sweater. Apparently, I missed the business casual memo that said that it was okay to rock a polo shirt underneath a sport coat. Personally, I think it looks ridiculous. I also don't think you should wear a polo shirt underneath of a v-neck. Now, this polo isn't quite as bad because the collar is rigid, uh, but most polo shirts have like super floppy collars that get all nuts and they look rough. Number nine is never ever tuck. A Henley. I absolutely love the Henley shirt. In my opinion, it's the most perfect long sleeve casual shirt in the history of casual shirts. But I have seen dudes that are actually tucking it and it looks rough. It's not supposed to be tucked, it's supposed to be left out. If you want to show that super sexy belt, just learn to master the partial. Here's how you do it. Secret to executing an amazing partial tuck is making it look like you did it by accident. What you want to do is tuck a little bit of that shirt in by that first belt loop and then casually let that shirt fold over like that. And last but certainly not least, no list of ways that dudes are dressing wrong would be complete without the mother of all mistakes, the muffin top. Damn you muffin top! Your shirt comes popping out of your pants like a can of biscuits. The solution, you could wear shirt tail garters or wear a tailored shirt. Now, I'm not gonna just say fitted because a lot of fitted shirts are still gonna be a little bit too roomy through the body, but a tailored shirt is gonna have a lot less extra fabric on the body to come untucked and pop. And even though my muffin has popped, it's still not as dreadful or drastic as if this shirt was a bit baggier through the body. That's it guys, 10 ways most men are dressing wrong. Hopefully you're not, if you were, hopefully you will fix it, and hopefully you will give this video a big thumbs up.